Hey traders, John Howell here, and in today's video, I'm going to be covering the stock market pullback. Last week, I talked about how that, you know, is the pullback starting? I gave some reasons why I believe we're likely to see a pullback, and I believe we've started to see that now. How much of a pullback are we likely to see with what we're seeing right now? I'm going to tell you about a recent trade that I did right now. Absolutely just took off like a rocket. I talk about that. Also, give you a gold update and also a silver update as well too. What's happening with them? and right now so let's get straight into it guys don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market it takes you a long time to become a good trader so this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader all right traders if you, traders if you haven't done so yet then go to johnsflashsale.com johnsflashsale.com just for seven dollars you get all of this down home country goodness uh when it comes to your trading. If you're struggling with the trading right now, you need this. JohnsFlashSale.com, it will give you the right for the right direction of foundations, chart reading strategies, trading systems and more to give you the right step. Just $7, go get it right now. So let's actually continue on through here. Let's actually go through here and let's actually bring up uh, the markets, okay? I'm, I'm just looking at US dollar there. Uh, the the Dow Jones, the Dow Jones has started the pullback right now. Now the interesting thing about the Dow Jones or where it is right now, if I bring my long-term uh, charts up through here, you can see how we've actually got a very sort of long-term trend line through here, right? Low, th low through here, we have a low point through here, and now we have a low point through here. So we have a very strong trend line coming up. So to see a pullback towards this level through here, is probably likely to happen now from the high to the low that that's a five that's a five percent pullback if we have a look at the s p 500 the s p 500 that that now that's <laughs> now that trend line is actually a lot deeper as well too right we've got a high point and this is five or six percent pullback it, this is where the support line is coming in off uh off the uh off the S&P 500. So we could see a bit more of a pullback, a lot, a lot more of a deeper pullback in the S&P 500 compared to the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ as well too. The NASDAQ's uh, major trend line is is down through here somewhere. So we could see, a, we could even see a, a, an even sharper pullback coming into the NASDAQ um, and um, and uh, and also the Dow Jones and S and P five hundred, right? So the Nasdaq with the tech stocks look like that they could they could be getting a much much more sharper pullback, especially stocks like Apple. Apple's been going absolutely just crazy right now, so uh, I definitely wouldn't want to be touching that. I definitely wouldn't want to be looking at that. So I'd stay away from like Apple right now. If I bring up Apple for a minute. You can see Apple has been going up for quite some time. We're getting a little bit of a pullback right now. Um, I still see we're likely to see a, a lot more of a pullback out of this. But I also do believe, guys, out of this here, right, all the talks of this being a pullback through here, I do see that after this pullback has been done and we've got a nice pullback, it's going to be a buying opportunity for the big hedge, for the big guys, and they're probably likely to see a nice, nice move up from here. So... This pullback is likely to be just short-lived, uh, maybe a five or six percent correction, and then we're probably likely to hold, and we're probably likely to see a big, big, big move up. Um, um, you know, coming around the corner. So that's what I'm seeing through there, guys. When it comes to the Dow Jones and the S and P and stuff like that. If I bring up, say, the silver market, uh, sorry, gold, should I say? Pretty much nothing going on. Still with gold, we still haven't broken out yet, but we we are we are definitely up through here. We're definitely not doing much through here, but if we start to continue up for where we are right now and breaking past this level, then it looks like we're probably likely to see a nice move up towards that eighteen hundred dollar level there. So the interesting thing about this eighteen hundred dollar level, you can see back here. If I bring this back here, you can see how that we've actually got all these levels of Resistance, resistance through here, and resistance through here. So it'd be, it, it looks like that, that we could see a nice move up towards at least that level through there, around the $1,800 level through there. So that's what I'm looking at there right now when it comes to the gold and also what's going on uh, with gold. Um, now moving on through to, let's bring up silver. Moving on through to silver, if I bring up the if I if I bring up the uh, uh, the the daily charts, you can see how we've had this move up, 
and now and now we're pretty much now we're pretty much had a move up we're pretty much not doing nothing through here so the longer this goes sideways the more we're likely to see a very 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 strong move up now once we do see a strong move once we do start to see a breakout i see silver getting towards at least the 20 dollar level there um, that'd be the sort of the first target for me once we do start to break up and out of this level Twenty dollars would be the target. That's why I got that line there for that's where I see that thing going and same for the SLV as well to the SLV uh, actually you know what? let me go back to the So the SLV same sort of thing. Um, so it does obviously silver now we'll notice when we're looking at the actual uh, When we're looking at the actual daily charts as uh, sorry the weekly charts you can notice how we've actually broken out of this long-term trend line Notice how we had this big long-term trend line coming down through here and now we've actually broken up We've come back down if I bring up the silver chart as well, you'll be able to see the same thing Right, you can see how we actually we came down we came down through to here and we had a break up And then then we had a bit of a pullback through here and now we're finding a lot of support So this is this is if you look at this here, right? We can see how that with silver we started that we went from a downtrend from a high high point through here lower high lower high and then we had this lower high then we had this higher high and a slight higher low now we had this higher high now we're having a slight or oh, a nice higher low but so that's how it's actually breaking out of this so this is the long-term trend line through trend, trend through there and now we're starting to build through strength notice how also when i take everything off the screen notice how when we're looking at this weekly chart on a short-term basis Look at this thing through here, right? So the market's gone up. It's done nothing now for pretty much sideways now for what is that? Almost, you know, almost five months. So this is building up a bit, a bit of a bit of a pressure before we start to see a nice move up out of the silver market. There, really, 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 really exciting when we come when when it comes to this here. But you also notice too that the market here. If I draw my trend line from, if I draw my Fibonacci's. Notice how we came down to the 50 to 62 percent, and then we bounced up, and so we can actually see it through there. But also notice how notice how the uh, the moving averages, right? The moving average was trending down through here. We're getting this long this sort of long term moving average, but now we're starting to trend up. That means the overall trend is actually changing, and and as you can see, right, we're going from a high high low, a higher high. We formed a high low through here. We're doing nothing through here. But I'm expecting to see this thing to continue up and continue up to around about that $20 level and maybe even overshoot that and go a lot higher than that. I don't know, but it'd be really, 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 really fascinating to see as that plays out through there. So I'm positioned for it myself, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm actually in silver right now. So, or the SLV. So I've been in SLV for for quite some time right now. Um, I have two different types of positions. One, I have a really long-term position, like two years position. And then I have one that's more of a more over the last sort of next sort of six months or so, which I do see at least on a short-term basis that we're likely to get up towards this level through here. So if I bring up, if I bring up the daily chart and I squeeze it up a little bit more, you do a projection. So you measure from the low to the absolute high point okay then you actually project that from there to there right and then that would be that level through there would be where the slv price is likely to run to based on where silver is and so on and so forth uh from there so that's what i'm seeing through there guys that's where i see that's where i see the slv price probably likely to go to uh actually you know what no i'm going to take that off again and i'm going to do that again Actually, not pretty. Yeah, probably overall, we're probably likely to see that that move up through there, which is, which is also going that goes inside of these resistance levels. Here. So interesting, really interesting. But on a short term basis, on on a short term projection, uh, we have this level low level through here, and then let that level through there, and then we project that up. Uh, we're probably seeing this eighteen dollar level through there, which is that next resistance level. So that's where it's probably likely to see on a short term basis. We're probably likely to hold. Probably like it to pull back a little bit more and then continue seeing that that move up there. But on a on an overall big picture basis, we have a lot of resistance where we are right now. But once we start the break, we're probably likely to see a nice move up, just like we can see here on the actual silver chart. This is the silver chart uh, through here. 
and you can see that silver is probably likely to get to the $20 level there based on what I'm looking at there. So there we go, guys. A bit more of a detailed analysis on the silver market and the, and also gold as well too. Expect more of a pullback in um, in the stock market, but it's going to be a really, really good buying opportunity, uh, I do believe. And then also expect some more upside to come real soon uh, out of the actual metals.